Hi everyone, this is Blake Anderson and in this video I'm going to go through five applications that you can use on your Macintosh to help in the pre-planning stage of your videos. So if you're a content creator, you know, a videographer on YouTube, uh, this video will help you uh, with being more creative and help you brainstorm your ideas for your videos. So in this video, I'm gonna cover these five applications that you can use on your Macintosh that can help you with your pre-planning stage of your videos. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks and have a great day. So when I think about when I make a video, sometimes I had the process of just jumping into the video and not really doing much of the pre-planning. But what I'm trying to do more intentionally is to take the time, do the research, and really try to plan out my videos, which you know would include shots and just including different ideas that I want to include in my video, right? So this is why these apps are really great, as they allow you to have ways that you can brainstorm and uh, come up with your ideas and start to I guess cultivate them and nurture them and you know make connections between ideas right and I think as creators you know maybe we're stronger in certain areas um, but I know that when I take time to pre-plan you know and have that intention that my videos do often turn out much better <laughs> for pre-planning and the first app I'm going to show you is called MindNode. I will link a book in the, the description that explains one of the I guess creators of the mind map and he goes and walks through how mind maps um, you know use the brain in different ways and have advantages in terms of planning versus a more linear approach. I would say it's sophisticated in its look. Some cool things is you can create outlines, uh, convert them into outlines and vice versa. Uh, you can export them to Markdown. I would definitely suggest MindNode as a starter place for brainstorming. I think it would be a great way for you to think in a more organic fashion and start to see connections between your different ideas. The second application is called Curio. And Curio is just a great application to allow you to, you know, cultivate your ideas in a blank canvas so that you can brainstorm and start to collect different images. This application allows you to collect that information and uh, start to make connections using the application. There's a whole community on about Curio that, you know, you can definitely check out. I would say it's a very advanced program. It has a long history in the Mac community. So if you want an application just to start collecting different images, maybe texts, uh, videos, all sorts of um, information, definitely check out Curio as a way to present your information in a more illustrative fashion, I would say. that I use on a regular basis is called DevonThink. And DevonThink is a database program that allows you to collect and uh, create a database of all your information. And then you can source that information uh, using different, more advanced um, searching functions. Uh, you can create automations within the program. And the application allows for OCR so that it it's going to read all your documents and then you can search for those documents within the application. So let's say you're searching for the word Bob. In this way, it will search all your documents, not only the titles of the documents, but also within the documents so that you can search um, you know, within the information and all the resources that you have. I think DevonThink is a great application for creators as it will allow you to collect different resources and reference material that you can do advanced searches on and start to make connections when you're doing your research for your video.
And another application I would recommend is called Omiplan. And so what Omiplan allows you to do is it allows you to create um, project management. Omiplan will allow you to uh, create different sorts of projects and allow you to track that progress within various time periods so that you can you know, more uh, keep on top of your project and also foresee where it's going. You can assign roles and there's many advanced uh, techniques and strategies that you can use within this program. But for my basic uh, use, I use it just for, you know, simple project management. So, you know, when is the project starting? When do I need to do this shoot? Uh, when do the deliver deliverables need to be made? So those sorts of things. So Obsidian is, a, is the final application that I recommend. And what is Obsidian? Obsidian is a knowledge management software. And it is basically where you can keep all your notes uh, within a database. And the, the, the powerful thing about Obsidian is it allows you to start making connections between your different ideas and your different notes. And I won't go into all the particulars of the application but there is a, a, a rich community online um, that is supporting, you know, uh, what's considered knowledge management software. And it's basically the ability for you to create your own wiki, your own database of notes, so that you're starting to link some of your thinking together and you're starting to make connections between some of your ideas. And um, there's a lot of talk on the internet and on certain communities about atomic notes. And I won't go into it here, but just to say that for your video pre-planning, I think Obsidian is a great application as it will allow you to start to link some of your ideas together. And I think it'd be a great way for a creator to start to develop some of their ideas in this software. Uh, hopefully in this video, it's helped you kind of think about the ways that you can use these applications uh, using the Macintosh to enhance your pre-planning stage of uh, your workflow in terms of creating video content online. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks and have a great day.